How do you think it went today? I think it went really well. Um, you know, we had, I came out here Saturday um, to be able to work out with the guys and make sure we're going over the script um, for a good three days before we get out here. So it felt like a normal week of practice and uh, being able to come out here on game day was, was fine. So. What have you been working on specifically in Orange County? Yeah, I think uh, really my lower half, being able to en engage a lot of my posterior chain. I'm a very quad dominant guy, so for me to be able to use the ground, um, not only with just spreading my feet out and being able to engage my, my glutes and, and my hamstrings more, um, has really been able to help me rotate a lot better. Um, that's where you see things like the, the 62 miles an hour and all that stuff. So. so you have the Shrine Bowl, the Combine, and now this. How are things kind of progressing for you? Yeah, the they're, uh, they're doing exactly that. They're progressing. Um, I'm getting better every day, feel better every day, um, and, and continuing to go on this climb. And so, uh, you know, I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying every second of it. And uh, I'm just happy to be where I am right now. Well, what were those experiences like for you? Uh, super, super fun. Um, only because I got to spend it with three other teammates or more um, at a beach event. So uh, always having some familiarity and uh, always having someone to connect with has definitely uh, been big for me and huge for me. So just being able to lean on these guys has been huge. How many teams have you met with between the couple of events? Um, I I've met with, uh, I would say, maybe a handful. Um, I don't know if my agents will allow me to say the names of the teams, but uh, yeah, I've met with a handful before. How do you feel those meetings went? Is there anything about them that were surprising to you, or is it kind of what everybody had prepped you for? Yeah, uh, I think uh, the, the meetings down in, in Indianapolis were a little interesting, the formal meetings. Um, you know, each team up there kind of had their own little uh, deal before before starting the meeting. I know when I walked into one meeting, it was, I got a basketball thrown at me and I had to make free throws and I, I missed all but one. <laughs> so they, they definitely knew not to put me on the basketball team. But um, no, it's uh, it's been, for the most part, it's been what I expected. Um, and being able to really just, like I said, show who I am, uh, show what I bring to the table and, and my knowledge of the game and everything that Coach Kelly and, and all the coaches here have taught me um, has been really fun. Did they tell you why they had you shoot free throws? No, it's like, like some teams have you hold a basketball, some teams have you uh, or hold a football, sometimes have you uh, do mini putt and all that stuff. So it's, it's, it's fun. They try to make it fun for us at the same time, I'm sure. How are you kind of managing, you know, obviously like there's the work that you're kind of putting in and you, you have certain opportunities to showcase yourself, but with the draft ultimately, it's kind of out of your control. Mm -hmm. As you go into something like that, how are you kind of managing your expectations? Uh, not having any. Uh, I think uh, that's probably the biggest part of it is, you know, it's, it's not up to me. I can, can control what I can control. Um, focus on my teammates, focus on, you know, the time I have left here um, and, and just going through this thing and taking it on full head of steam, um, not really going in with any expectations or any doubts, just going in there ready to work and have a smile on my face every day. You know, obviously during your five years here at UCLA, I think, right, you had to kind of gradually, gradually won over the fan base. Yeah. And here you're kind of having to convince the right teams to take a chance on you. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel any kind of similarities there, I guess, in, in terms of like, feeling that you have to prove something to people or show something to people or? No, I think it's a, I mean, at the end of the day, it's about the narrative that you uh, want to put out there. Um, I think there's a bunch of different narratives about me from my five years of being here with how many years I've played and the type of success levels that I've had over the five years. Um, so I get it, I understand it. Um, at the same time, I know what I bring to the table. I know what I'm working towards. So um, just being able to show the teams how much I've grown um, and the growth level that's there, I think it's probably the biggest part of my game that, that is so intriguing. I'm sure you're aware of some of the criticism, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. So very you, aware. Okay. <laughs> so, what, what do you say when you know? Right. I think people kind of question: okay, Can he make kind of that that gimme play? Right. Yeah. Uh, maybe he's not consistent yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when you hear stuff like that, what do you what do you think? Um, I think for me, if you check over the last two years and, and really watch the tape, uh, you'll see that there's a different player out there than than the assumption that's put out there before I even step on the field. Um, so, like I said, that's that's kind of what I'm going in with. I know I wasn't the best player in my first two years here, um, and really even in COVID. So, uh, but I, I guarantee you that there's there's not many players film out there that can compete with uh, our last two years here. I'd say so um, at a consistent high level like we were doing. Um, and so I, I think that's what I'll lean on. It's just like I said, how much I've grown, a lot of the stuff I've learned that um, maybe guys that have had plenty of success their whole careers haven't gotten to learn yet. Um, and so, you know, the NFL is not a, you can't go undefeated all the time in the NFL. You're not going to blow guys out all the time in the NFL. So um, I think all the adverse situations that I went through, I think will help me in my, as well as my teammates here in the, in the long haul. So. Do you have any thoughts of what you might do if you don't get drafted? I have no, I have no thoughts at all. Um, I actually, I do. I, I have business plans and all that stuff, and I've made plenty of connections. But um, I'm not worried about that stuff right now. I, I know football is going to work.
Okay. I mean, we can go somewhere, right? I mean, let's theoretically say an NFL opportunity doesn't mm-hmm. work out. Are you willing to kind of say CFL or something like that to kind of um, play out the dream, so to speak? That's, uh, I think that's more of a question for about two months from now. Um, but I, like I said, I, my goal is to, I was out here in front of a million of NFL scouts and, and not CFL or XFL scouts. So um, right now my, my mindset's on the NFL until I until I hear otherwise. You know, has the idea of like position change, has that been brought up to you at all, like in any capacity um, at all? It actually, so I I don't think anybody else knows this. Um, I actually had a plan to, uh, to try and do some stuff. Um, just try and, you know, show a different look. And again, add value to myself and, and be able to show that I can do all things on the field. Um, really didn't even have time for teams really didn't want to see all that anyway they want to see me as a quarterback and so i was i was all for that obviously so, so you're encouraged by that yeah okay. 100%. 100%. is there anyone you've uh, leaned on who's gone through this process who's in the nfl um, that you talked with or mentoring yes, or anything yeah i think uh, all the guys that i've played with that have gotten drafted over the years have had millions of phone calls from me um whether it was before the shrine game because i had q lake and, and kyle phillips there last year um or, or whether it was at the combine with all those guys that went last year as well. So, um, you know, those guys are all best friends. We'll all talk to, you know, the day we die. Um, and so I've, I've been able to chop it up with a bunch of them for sure and be able to get some insight and some stuff to expect along the way. So. Yeah. yeah. And then speaking of guys that got drafted, obviously you lost, you know, Dulcich and Phillips to the yeah. draft last year. How do you feel, you know, that impacted your growth as a player this past season? Um, I, I think still, you, again, you have to keep the main thing the main thing. I think that's one thing that Coach Kelly um, and the staff here does a really good job of, you know, making sure that we understand. Uh, if, you, if you come in the building with the right mindset, you come in the, the week with the, with the things that you need to do uh, and get those things done, that, you know, you'll be all right no matter who's on the field. Uh, and I think that goes back to the way even Coach Kelly recruits. You know, he's not going to recruit the five stars, four stars. He's going to get the guys that want to come in here and work. Um, the guys that want to be better every day and, and make something out of it. And so, um, you know, I think it's we're more so happy and, and excited for those guys to be able to get a new opportunity um, rather than just worried about us. Uh, what is it like working? Is it, with, is it Jordan Palmer? Yep. Uh, what is it? I, I've seen him, I think, in some of your videos. He's out here today, if I'm not mistaken. What has yeah. it been like working with him? It's been awesome. I actually have known Jordan since uh, 2017, my senior in high school. He was uh, one of the coaches at the opening in the Elite 11. Um, so he's been my quarterback coach, I'd say, for quite some time now. So we've had a really good relationship. And uh, it was a no-brainer as soon as I was done with the season. I was going to go down to Orange County and work with him, um, as well as his assistant, uh, Mike White. And so, um, yeah, man, it's been super fun, super blessed to be able to work with him. He's put us on to, me and my whole training group, on to so many different things. Um, both on and off the field with, you know, connections as well as being able to teach us how to play quarterback at a high level. So. Is it Hendon, Hooker, and uh, Max Duggan are over there too? Oh, uh, it's Hendon, Hooker, Max Duggan, Will Levis, and Clayton too. That's, yeah. the, that's the five of us. What, six of us. what have you learned from maybe some of those guys that are bouncing ideas or experiences off of each other? Yeah, I think uh, really the main thing for me was that, you know, I'm enough as a player and as a person. Um, you know, you're thinking that they come from the SEC, they come from a really great season, and um, you know, those guys, those guys still need to work on stuff too. Um, and, and those are a lot of things that we talk about. Is stuff's not easy um, being a being a high level quarterback and, and working towards that. So um, I think that's the biggest thing is we just try to lean on each other. We become really close. Those are going to be some of my best friends um, once we get onto our respective teams. But uh, you know, I, I really appreciate those guys for sure. Let's talk with you right now. It seems like you're kind of in a good headspace, and <laughs> you'll kind of be okay with whatever, however this thing turns out. I mean, is is the feeling kind of that maybe you you feel you've done everything you could to put yourself in a good place, and kind of whatever happens happens at this point? Yeah, I think there's. I mean, there's probably two things to that. I think one, just going back to your first question, you can't really control um, things outside of your control. So um, I think just knowing that. Uh, I, I, that makes me be able to stay present um, in every moment. And so, I'm, like I said, I'm really present with you guys right now, um, enjoying this interview. And, and when I go back, I'll be a present with my family and make sure I'm enjoying time with them. So my mind's not on the draft and my mind's not on none of that stuff. It's about, you know, executing pro day and making sure that this is the best day of my life so far. I think we had a couple months to kind of maybe reflect back on you know, the past season and maybe even your entire career. What do you kind of make of, you know, your whole journey here at UCLA? Um, I say I miss it. <laughs> no, it's been a it's been a wild ride. Um, you know, I go back and watch that tape all the time, whether it's from my sophomore year, my freshman year, or this past season. Um, you know, just all the memories that I've made here. 
uh, all the lifelong friendships that I've uh, been able to get. And, uh, you know, I'm just so happy to be here and, uh, you know, finish this thing off right now. So. so are you living in Orange County right now? I am. I am. I'm actually about to go down there after today and, and move all my stuff down to Vegas. Oh, okay. Do you still get, like, uh, test nightmares? I do not. Okay. I do not. I do not. <laughs> I'm uh, so happy I'm, I'm done with school, though. Okay. I'll graduate. My mom just got her diploma in the month, like, a month ago. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm good. I was gonna say yeah, like after five years here at UCLA, like your routine, your habits, like everything just oh yeah, it's, a, on you, it's right? a lot more free time, um, a lot more time for you to you know whether you're gonna get better or you're gonna you know lay on the couch all day. Um, so that's that's probably the one thing about the NFL is it really is a business, and you really have to make sure that you're getting your stuff done because nobody's gonna tell you. So.